welcome to my channel so i thought i'd just do another quick video as i pop my kit in with my scooters uh, as i pop my kit into my really useful box ready so i can start messing about with the kit so this is the bottom so i have already done an unboxing video so i am just gonna slide stuff in if it'll fit so yeah we've got the heidi swap mask at the bottom and then if we slide out the papers, papers, cardstock, and the page maps, and then the alphabet will definitely need to go in there. I'm not, oh, that one will as well. I'm not so sure on these. So let's bring in the top. So this is the top part. So, so far, having used it once. Uh, this is where I normally like to have my die cuts so that I can have a little bit of a rummage round and I've got the space to mess about. So that's if any die cuts come with the kit, which they have. So we have the Life is Beautiful November pack, which is jam packed. Packed to the point that if I get through all these die cuts, I will be extremely surprised. Now, it does look as though we have some that are too big. It's a good start, isn't it? So, oh no, we have one that's too big. I can handle one. So all the rest are squoes into there. So I'll have to have a good rummage to get started on that. So that's those. Then anything that tends to be in a packet like this it tends to go in here but what i will do is as per before is get them opened so with these i don't tend to store them in their packets anyway so what i'll do is just pop i'll pop a couple tiny staples in there and that's ready to go and that can be used for some sort of packaging technique or the bin depending on what suits now i have these that i added in and i'm hoping these will also fit in there yeah so i can try and use some of those now these may or may not go back into the packet um, just for storage wise I'm unsure yet so for now all packaging I pop into a, just a baggie just to keep it together while I'm working on the kit and if I want it it's there and then I added the craft market and I added those stickers and then otherwise the actual goodies from the kit is a washi tape which tends to go there and then Mr Huey's Mist which will go into my just normal stash eventually, but I'm going to pop that there for now so that I can see it. And then the other bits I pulled in from my stash are popped into this little box for now. So let's have a look, because I can't even remember what I put in here. So we've got some little chipboard bits. Oh, we've got those vellum hearts coming back again. I did do this the wrong way around, didn't I? So we've got these Heidi Swap words. So let's again get those out of the packaging. Now that's probably something, depending on the amount I use, that will end up going back in the packaging when it's done. I'm not sure where these are going to fit. Will they all fit in there? Some are longer, but they don't quite fit in there. Okay, so we've got two that don't really fit. So yeah, they are going to float about, but at least I'll know that I've got them. And then we have some little word stickers we've got from Simple Stories, sticker sheet. So there's quite a few different sticker sheets I pulled out for this one. And then little word stickers, and then we've got more chipboard. And then this is a Studio Calico chipboard sheet. Now, this more than likely, once I've used a couple of bits, will go into my black and white box. So I'm just going to crack it open now. You 
because then it's not so new and I'll use it. So we've now got a chipboard section with all different, mainly black and white at the moment, chipboard or dimensional bits. Then we'll have somewhere for stickery bits, a couple more sheets of stickers there. And we've got, let's go for die cuts or that chipboard. Chipboard, it's quite a lot of chipboard. Die cuts, other. Let's see how that works. We've got little vellum arrows. They so need using up. You know when you see something in your stash far too often? Yeah, it's a bit of that. And then I've got some little die cut labels. They can go in with die cuts, but I'll keep the baggy just to keep the pink ones together. Die cut, chipboard, die cuts. So this last little bit's now. So these long bits can go in here with the enamel dots that I've pulled out. Some chipboard and other. Well, at least I haven't pulled out as much this time. Still got another one of those cameras there. And that's quite good in a way because I did feel as though I ended up with a lot left over at the end of last month's. And really, I want these used up. Die cuts, chipboard, puffy. Random chevron that'll be going if it doesn't get used. There we go. So, yeah, there does seem to be quite a few less. Yeah, there does seem to be less in here this month. I think I've picked out a more reasonable amount. And then we've got the little lemons from Studio Calico, which I think are cute. No, I have no idea what they're going with, but I think they're cute. So there we go. So there is my kit ready for this month and actually all I have in the bottom is alphabets which is a lot easier when it comes to actually using it. We have an abundance of die cuts this time so I can't wait to get playing and of course we've got mist and this gorgeous washi. So I hope you'll join me when I get creating with this kit and I'd love to see how you use yours and Indeed, if you find these really useful boxes really useful, um, let me know. Let me know what you use yours for, um, whether you have a different way of sorting it out, because I'm always open for new ideas so I can organise better. And I'll speak to you all soon.